This is the restrooms. Very nice area. Beautiful lake. Everything looks pretty new. This is your restroom in here. Men's room. Nice and clean. Well, welcome back to Outdoors for Adventure, or if this is your first time 
stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by. And if you like what you see, think about subscribing to our channel and helping our channel grow. Thank you very much. As you can see, we have already shown some of Lake de Arbon State Park. This is a 655 acre park located on the shores of beautiful Lake de Arbon in Union Parish. The park was designed to blend with the natural landscape and enhance the outdoor experience for visitors. Facilities include cabins, lodges, campsites, a group camp, a swimming pool complex, visitor center, covered pavilion, picnic areas, hiking trails, fishing piers, a boat launch, and tennis courts. Lake Diarbon is a reservoir located near and around the town of Farmerville in Union Parish in North Louisiana. Isolated in a rural area, it is a popular man-made fishing area that has a combined estimated area of 15,250 acres. The lake was first conceived in 1957. The 2,450-foot-long concrete dam was built in 1961 by Louisiana Department of Public Works, and the resulting lake took shape by 1963 behind the 54-feet-tall dam. Lake D'Arbonne State Park is a state-maintained camping and recreation area that lies on the lake. Fishing piers and boat docks attract visitors to Lake D'Arbonne, the marvelous 15,258-acre centerpiece of the park. Recreation on Lake D'Arbonne is tremendously popular among locals and visitors, and record freshwater catches of bass, crappie, catfish, and brim make Lake D'Arbonne a fishing haven. Wide open areas of the lake, about seven miles from the park, appeal to water skiers and pleasure boaters. The boat launch at the park opens up all of these opportunities to the outdoorsmen. Tree stands in the lake captivate photographers as do the towering pines on land and the rich diversity of wildlife and birds that make the park their home. Bring your binoculars and camera to capture the wonders of the natural world from our beautiful nature trails. Cyclists will enjoy the challenge of the rolling hills of the park as a starting point for biking excursions into the steep inclines and scenic beauty of North Louisiana. Lighted tennis courts add to the activity options available for all visitors. Return for a picnic under the canopy of pine trees and celebrate the magnificence of nature preserved. At the time of recording this, the seven premium campsites were $33 a night plus tax for Friday and Saturday and $30 a night plus tax Sunday through Thursday, April through September. It's $25 a night plus tax Sunday through Thursday for October through March. The 51 improved campsites are $28 a night plus tax Friday through Saturday. $25 a night plus tax Sunday through Thursday, April through September, and $20 a night plus tax for Sunday through Thursday, October through March. Of course, they do accept the uh, beautiful senior and access passes. The tennis courts are available for overnight guests and for day use visitors with payment of entrance fee but the courts must be reserved at the visitor center prior to play. The trails at Lake D'Aubarn State Park are the orange trail, which is one mile, the green trail is a half mile, the blue trail is a half mile, and the white trail is four miles. There's disc golf at Lake D'Aubarn State Park. The course is located near the group camp. The swimming pool opens Memorial Day weekend to August 1st and closed Monday through Wednesday for maintenance, except for holiday Mondays. When pools are open on a holiday Monday, the pools will be closed for maintenance on 
the Tuesday and Thursday following the holiday Monday. From August 1st through Labor Day, pools will be open and on modified schedules, so check with individual parks for specific days and hours of operation. Entrance fees are $3 per person, free for seniors 62 and older, and free for children 3 and under. Overnight visitors can choose from a variety of accommodations. Deluxe cabins come with utensils and essential gear like towels and linens and can accommodate up to 8 guests. Deluxe lodges can accommodate up to 14 visitors and a group camp with two dormitory style wings and a dining hall can hold up to 52 people. Should you decide to bring your own accommodations, an RV, then you have options of staying in premium campsites and scenic prime locations or in basic campsites that still offer easy access to the lakefront, all have water and electrical hookups. Horsemanship in Dubok is a ranch located about 20 miles outside of Lake Diarbon State Park. It's a scenic, peaceful place that's popular among both local residents and visitors alike. Riding lessons are available for children and adults. For a sweet taste of the rural Louisiana, check out the Louisiana Watermelon Festival held the last weekend in July annually. Founded in 1963, this Farmerville event is one of more than 400 festivals held throughout the state every year. It celebrates the local watermelon industry with a pageant watermelon contest. The grower of the largest watermelon overall wins $1,000. A parade, photo contest, street dance, and treasure hunt. Plenty of artists and craftspeople are on site selling creations they make with excellent souvenirs. And as you might expect at a festival honoring North Louisiana's agriculture legacy, the food vendors are serving up something tasty. We really enjoyed our tour of Lake D'Arbon State Park. We did check out Farmerville, and after we left Farmerville, we had to go find some dirt roads to drive our Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk down and explore some of the countryside. We did find some beautiful country and some curious cows watched us as we passed by. This was a lot of beautiful country and we really enjoyed our adventure in Louisiana. Be sure to check out the previous video as we stop by a beautiful National Forest Park right on a lake. Also, if you're looking for a nice overland route that will take you through some awesome country on mainly dirt and gravel roads, be sure to check out the Arkansas Overland Route Trailhawk Loop. This is further north up on the Louisiana-Arkansas line. There's also two more state parks on each end of this loop. One will be on the east side of the loop and then one will be on the west side of the loop. This is an awesome overland route of over 300 miles of mainly gravel and forest roads. Beautiful views, plenty of dispersed campsites and things to do. So if you want to shoot on up north into Arkansas, you'll see this route on the Onyx Off-Road app. Plenty to explore. We hope you enjoy it. Share this information with your friends. And don't forget while you're here to go ahead and click that subscribe button because it helps us out a whole lot more than you know. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, give us a thumbs down. All interaction is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. The we hope you come back and visit us again soon. Have a great day.